Posing people in portrait photography is a very difficult thing. In one of my recent videos, I did a little video giving you guys a handful of tips of posing your friends who are not models. But if we're gonna be completely honest, posing guys specifically is very difficult. Guys don't really get that much uh, screen time in front of the camera. And when we do have the opportunity to do it, us regular degular guys have no idea what to do. We're like all awkward and all this other stuff. And it could be a very difficult situation. That was a really ugly. Those were really ugly faces I just made. Well, worry not, look no further. Today, I'm gonna give you guys Chris Chu's guide to uh, posing guys who are not models. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Tip number one that I have for you guys is aim for geometry and sharp angles. There's kind of a philosophy, a science, and art to posing people, and for guys and men specifically, having sharp angles, like when they're like grabbing sunglasses like this, or when you're showing off their jawline like this, showing off like sharp lines, sharp angles, and anything that just kind of like resembles something geometric evokes strength, evokes something like very masculine. While for women, typically poses that evoke like softness, some curved lines, and just like anything that's not jagged evokes more of that femininity. So what I'm basically trying to say is make the guy look hard. Oh. One of the more masculine facial features that you can show is kind of like their bone structure, especially the jawline. So if you're shooting in harsh sun conditions, use those shadows as your friends to like help accentuate that even more. Tip number two is shoot at a lower angle. Make them look bigger, make them look more macho and just like a lot taller. Now I'm a very short guy and shooting at a lower angle helps people like me. And same thing for six foot tall guys, six, five tall guys, it doesn't matter. Shoot at a lower angle. Watch out for the double chin though. You don't want them to curl up their chin and show an accordion of a neck. So don't do that. Nice. All right, three, two, one, go. Tip number three that I have for you guys is very important because you gotta watch the posture. Make sure that the shoulders are nice and wide. Shoulder blades pinch a little bit to kind of make the chest pop. Make sure that the neck is not like a stack of pancakes and flapjacks and stuff like that so there's not too much to this tip just make sure that like you know posture is good same thing for women as well And the last tip that I have for you guys is very simple and still one of the most important things to take care of. It's the hands. For guys who can have them fix the watch, play with the rings, throw it in a pocket, throw it in their jacket pocket or their jean pocket, fix the sunglasses and all that stuff. Remember, sunglasses are unsung heroes in portrait sessions, so play with accessories or, or have them pose in a way that their hands are occupied now. So for Vincent, I gave him a direction that like, oh, at work, his coworker just pissed him off messed up the task for the fourth time in a row and you know the go-to pose is pissed off pinching the bridge of their nose and that works it shows like a, a a feeling of stress a feeling of power kind of while taking care of the hands by pinching the bridge of their nose another one was like a mastermind pose like some kind of evil villain have the hand right underneath the elbow and the other one just right underneath the chin. Very, very powerful pose. So there you go. I hope this little amateur guide to posing dudes by Chris Chu was very sufficient for you for now. I will be coming out with more specific posing tips and all that jazz. Same thing for the women's side. Uh, I'm going to try my best for that one. I'm not a professional on that either. But um, yeah, hopefully guys, that'll work out for you. Remember, like, for most portrait photographers, posing and direction is kind of like that bottleneck. So we're all working on that. And uh, I'll be trying to share some tips as like I learned along the way, because again, still not the best at that. But yeah, make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment down below on your experiences of posing yourself as a guy or posing your other guy friends who are not models. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.